Most people in America are familiar with where their rights begin and end, but we have a handful of people across America that like to abuse other people's rights because they feel it gives them some sort of might. It doesn't, actually. It gives you a power before the Lord that says, I am Lord of all, and you, God in heaven, will bow before me. How arrogant are you? How arrogant is he? Everyone likes to play that game. How arrogant is that person? Well, it depends on your perspective. You see, the Lord God above knows who is who. The Lord God above knows what to do with you. And the Lord God only has the right to rebuke. But you, foolish child of Satan, felt you had the right to play a game with someone's life. You're not feeling well today because you've chosen an illicit, illegal, immoral behavior for your name. You chose to interfere with someone else's rights as if you really hold them dear. You don't. You proved you don't. You have proven without a shadow of a doubt that you do not hold them dear. Because if you hold someone dear, then you do not interfere with them. If you hold someone in regard, you do not try to piss on them. And every little fucking player of these eclectic groups is going to jail today. The motherfucker sheriff are always overweight and couldn't run down one perpetrator if they tried today. The liars of the land play these games of I'm going to point to him and I'm going to fuck him over. No, you're not. Because what that produces is a man-on-man -man situation of which you're being a liar because you're not allowing him to respond. You're doing this at night. You're doing this in your idea of what is right. And you have failed yourself in every way. You have personally failed your entire life. You have completely, 100% failed yourself. You have failed yourself because you thought you were an ama a major master slave owner to someone else's life. And wasn't it human beings that fought for all human rights? In life, we can talk about truth, but the truth that's up to you is what you do for you. The truth that's up to someone else is what they choose to do for them. And in your idea of God, you failed yourself because you thought you'd play God in someone's life today. And for that, in front of the Lord Most High, you failed your own life today.